Thanks, New Faith, and welcome to another edition of Motivational Fitness Thursday. We have with us the staff of Faith, Miss Rachel. We also have Miss Jessica with us. We're going to work core, body, core and lower body today. I know we normally do upper body, but I want to try and break this up a little bit and kind of give us a really good exercise, or some uh, 30 minutes of exercising those core, the core muscles as well as our leg muscles. You guys ready to get loose? All right, here we go. We're going to do some kicks. Raise your hands to your side, hands on your sides. But again, we just want to pick, kick those knees up a little bit, kick those knees and kick them out. Uh, it's important that when you do do stretches or when you do exercises that you don't do them while it's tight. All right, you want to get more, make sure that you're limber, right? Let's get some marches in as well. I don't like stretching cold muscles. I don't like working out cold muscle, but you're not supposed to uh, do any of these exercises without stretching. So. This is our way for us to kind of just get that blood going a little bit. You guys about ready? Yes. All right, let's get down here. We have some leg extensions, my favorites. We're going to have Miss Rachel go with the modified version. Her arms are going to be just below her shoulders, right down. And she's going to be doing the leg extension that we're going to be doing, that Miss uh, Jessica and I are going to be with our arms up going forward. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. All right, I got twenty in. Let's break it up. We got about ten, twelve in. Twenty. She got twenty in. Good. So we all got twenty in. Again. Um, we want to make sure that with these core muscle, with core exercises, that we're doing the maximum amount that you could possibly do to really work those core core muscles. All right, we back up on our feet. Some leg exercises. We're going to do some squats. Um, I'm going to have, in fact, I'm going to have Miss Jessica use the chair. So she's going to use the chair. Well, actually, she go all the way down. Though. I'll use. Do you want to use the chair? No, she's not going to use the chair. I'm going to use the chair. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to use the chair. For those who can't go down, as far as Ms. Jessica will go down, probably Ms. Rachel as well. I have the knee issues. I go down to my chair, back is straight, and come right back up. Try not to sit down like I just did. I'm going to do a, a few of them with the chair, and I'm going to do as many as I can without the chair and just go down. But again, the object is that the shoulders are back, the back is straight. If you can, try and arch your lower back as you're going down and kind of just come up, okay? I'm gonna do about 20. Leave it up to you guys as to how many you wanna do. Again, legs vary, it just depends on how your situation is as far as your, your health is concerned, knees, my back, don't do too many if you hurt, you feel any kind of pains in those areas or, 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 or weaknesses in those areas, but do as many as you can. I'm going with 20, you guys ready? Yes. Here we go. Ah, one, two, three, Four, five, I'm gonna do a few more without now. You guys keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, you turn it aside. Those last five in. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. So as you can see, I use the prayer stance. You use whatever stance you want. I've seen some people like to have their arms going at the same time while they're working their legs. They're also working their upper body, their shoulders. Some people like to use weights. Again, I'm more so just using my body, not trying to overexert myself. All right, we're right back down. Working on the core again, the same position that we was. When we were doing the leg extensions, we're going to do some bicycle pedaling. All right. Again, we're going to have you go with lower your back. We're going to go with our hands up. You ready? We're going forward first. I'm going to do 10. And this is one for one. So as I cycle one leg, I cycle the other one. That's one. All right. So we know. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Give it a little bit of a break because I like to double, do double dose on these. We're going to go backwards. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Oh, good. We got some staggered squats. So these are easy, kind of the same uh, situation that you're doing with regular squats, but I have one foot and I'm using this pointing towards you as my front. So my front foot is at my back heel. So my front toe is at my back heel. And as I turn, right, on my second up, I turn and I'm gonna do low impact because Let's face it, I'm old. And as we turn, I'm going to go down. And the second time I come back up, I turn again. But I want to make sure that that front foot, again, that front foot is the one that's facing you. And the one that you're doing that's facing me is toe to back heel. You guys ready with that? Okay. We're going to try a couple now. Front toe, back. back bring the front, bring the back one up. There we go. Back the back one up. There you go, right there. All right, we ready to go. Let's go. One, two, going around. Three, four, going around. Five, six, good. And what we're doing now is we're putting more weight on that back leg. So you're getting kind of a one squat, but with some help with the other leg, obviously. One-legged squat, I should say. All right, I think I'm probably coming into 10, maybe. Hopefully, one more time. 10, good. Nine, 10, go at your pace. 11, 12, good, keep it going. 11, oh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, good. So now, we're gonna go into some regular sit-ups. But what I do a little different, is I'm gonna have my feet across, I'm gonna have Ms. Jessica to have her feet across as well, I'm gonna have Ms. Rachel keep her feet straight out. Now as we're going down, or right, while I'm down, I want to make sure that I'm using my core to bring myself back up, all right? Versus trying to use momentum to bring me up. I'm using my core. That's really giving that good work right in, this, in that, uh, that terrible area that we don't like so much, right? So, as you guys come up, I like to, like, again, by using my core, I make sure that I'm using my core. I need my arm at 90 degrees. The other one's kind of behind my ear, kind of as a safe, Haven, if you will, just to keep it there, to know that I'm pulling myself up. Uh, come all the way up, and I touch across and out. And I do the other one the same way. Rachel's gonna have her feet both out, and she's coming up and she's touching across and out. Again, we're kind of pulling at their sides, as well as working that abdomen area. Abdomen area. All right, we ready? Enough talk, let's get it. I got two. Two. And we're going, we're going one for one. Three, three, four, four. I love these. Five, five. Good. Six, six, seven, seven. And because you're doing two for two, I mean one for one, you can be pretty much anywhere between 10 and 15 and really get a good work in. I'm going to go all the way to 20 because I've been a, a lazy guy and have not worked out at all this week. So I'm going to get mine in on, on you guys, with you guys, I should say. I think I'm somewhere near 15. 
guess you, hopefully you're keeping count for me. But I don't care at this point, I'm, I got a good rhythm going. And the idea too is to try and keep moving. That way you're not straining, right? I think I'm about 18 there. 19, 19 and 20. Good workout is going to have us sweating, going to have us breathing a little bit. Hopefully not fighting and spitting. <laughs> Doing your workout is supposed to be something we're enjoying and getting some intrinsic benefit from. All right, we're right back to legs. These are one-legged squats, and we do them in kind of a racing style, kind of a, 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 a skating style, style of, a, of a motion. So I'm on my left leg here, and I'm going to alternate mine because I like to go both both ways with my exercise. We go down and over, right? And I go down and over. Now, you see I'm stumbling? Means there's no problem for you to stumble a little bit too if you've not done these before. They're not very hard to do, but my hands go in the same direction as my kick. And as you can see, I've got my knee bent about as low as I can bend my knee, but if you want to go lower, that's fine. What we want to do is keep that back straight as I'm going down so we may have to kick up a little bit further and you're coming right back up. All right, you about ready? We got it? I'm gonna start going this direction first. You guys come with. Kind of no real modification other than you just deciding how low you wanna go with that knee being bent and coming back up. And we're gonna alternate, so we'll go one for one. We'll do about 15 of these, all right? Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, Three, four, four, five, five. I feel myself about to stumble. Six, six, good. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Notice that I'm keeping my back straight as well. Ten, eleven. 11, let me turn sideways to finish. You guys keep going. 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, last one for me and everyone else probably, and 15, good. Back back down the floor here, and we're gonna do what we call scissors, right? And those scissors are done, the initial ones are done, with a minute in between. So hands are down on my side, and I'm not trying to use my hands or under my, my, my tailbone, or under my legs to help keep me up. I'm gonna keep my hands out. Now, I'm gonna have Ms. Rachel do a little bit of a modification, which means that she's just gonna bring her feet all the way down. She's gonna bring her legs up, but I wanna make sure that she brings her leg up at least to 90 degrees, and that knee is straight, and she's gonna bring it all the way down. Ms. Rachel, I mean, sorry, Ms. Jessica and I are gonna have one leg, at 60 degrees while we bring the other one up. Putting a lot more pressure on. In fact, you should do these two. Probably just take five of them. Maybe a five at a time kind of thing. Because we're gonna do, <laughs> she's, yeah, she's fine. <laughs> we're gonna do uh, uh, 15. Let's go to 15 of these. No, let's go to 20, all the way in. All the way in, 20 of them. Ready to go? I'm gonna start my right leg up. We're gonna switch them. Here we go. One 1,000, one 1,000, two 1,000. Two one thousand, three one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, seven one thousand. The legs straight. One thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, nine one thousand, ten one thousand. Woo! Ten one thousand, eleven one thousand, eleven one thousand. I think we're going to fifteen. <laughs> 31,000, 41,000, 41,000, 41,000, 51,000, 51,000, 51,000, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, and then we go right back in it. Rachel, you can, if you didn't do the modified already, go ahead and do the modified. She did the modified. That means she's going to go in with us. All right, we're going to degrees. Here we go. One, one, 
another core exercise going right back into our legs and these are our lunge series so we'll be lunging forward I'm gonna turn sideways so you can get a good glimpse I'm gonna try and do 15 of these now again if you got bad knees bad back bad Achilles anything with the limbs that are giving you trouble right now modify 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 again the activity is far more important than being perfect although perfection is no, no, no substitution for it. so at any rate I like to start with my right leg here in fact, uh, again, and, and positioning, you don't want your hands to where you can't balance yourself as you're going down and coming back up, don't want anyone falling. But I like to use my hands on my hip and mostly toward my back so I can kind of support my, my lumbar spine and come back up, right? So I'll be stepping out forward, right? And, and trying to get to 90 degrees, right in there somewhere, and then popping right back up, right? And I do the other leg, same way and then pop it back up. Again, modify as you need to. Go down to 45 degrees or whatever degrees you need to go down to, but you do want to try and bend that knee a little bit and use that strength to come back off. This also builds core as well as legs. You ladies ready? All right, we're gonna start with the right first. One for one, going to 15. Here we go. One. One. Two. Two. We may be going at a speed that's a little bit faster than your speed. Don't worry. Pause this and take your time. Don't hurt yourself. I think we're at four. Four. Maybe slipping. Maybe there. It's probably six right there, isn't it? Six. Six. Seven. Thanks, Miss Jess. Seven. She's gonna keep me in line. Number girls. Eight. Eight. Nine, nine, good. Keep those back straight. Ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, good. Thirteen, <laughs> thirteen, we're almost there. Hang in there. Fourteen, fourteen, last one. Fifteen and 50. Uh, hips to the sky, uh, legs to the sky. I do it a little bit different because I like to work that stubborn area. The stubborn area is that belly area there. And how we do that is first of all, you get into the floor as safely as you possibly can. <laughs> all right, so I'm laying straight out. Again, a good modification way, I don't like to give cheats, but I like giving little modifications, is place your hands just uh, on your upper thigh, just on, underneath your legs, on your upper thigh. And, but at that point though, once you have them there, you cannot bring those feet all the way down. Or you can modify by bring, having your, your hands all the way out and bringing those feet all the way down. And when you come up at 90 degrees, as close to 90 degrees as possible, you're gonna tooch, right? You're gonna bring those legs to the air. But notice how my feet are straight. I'm, my feet are together and my legs are straight. All right? We ready? We're gonna pick one modification away. Maybe not. Okay, she's gonna go in with us. We got six inches off the ground. We're doing it the regular way. And we're gonna do about 15 of these, I think. But if I feel frog, you may jump to 20. These are pretty good and pretty, uh, like I said, I, I like putting emphasis on that belly part. And I know a lot of people do because it's stubborn and they don't cooperate right. All right, do the preaching. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All these are filling two, eleven, twelve. Good. 13, 14, and 15. Nope, we're not feeling froggy today. We're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna hop up. All right, right back at it. All you young people that are watching this, hopefully you are. Please, don't get old, no. 
Seriously, please, please, start working out now. Start working out now, because this is not cool, not being able to touch your toes at 45. So I'm just saying. All right, we're right back at it. We got some leg more, some more leg workouts to go into. We're going to continue with our lunge series. We're going to do step back lunges. This just has a modified way to take it to another notch for you workout gurus who really want to push yourselves the extra mile. She's going to do hers. We can bring the knee up. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I know I'm asking her to do this after we've already been uh, kicking our butts here in workouts, but notice how she's doing these where she's going down first, still at her uh, knees at 90 degrees, back and straight, but she's coming all the way back up with it and then coming back down. Both Ms. Rachel and I will be doing the conventional way. Stepping back, back straight, coming back, stepping back into it. I like to think that these are my easier ones, but what's easy in doing workouts? So, all right, we about ready? I think we are, okay. I'm gonna start with the right leg first. I think I got about 15 minutes to take together. Yeah, okay, here we go. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Good job, Miss Jess. Four. Five. Go, Rachel. Six. Six. Seven. Even Brother George back over there doing lunges. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. If I was smart, I would have stopped at ten, probably. Ten. <laughs> Keep going, guys. 11, 11, 12, yeah, 12, she's feeling it, 13, 13, dead back straight, 14, 14, she's got a break, 15, and 15. So, we're a little bit fuller than half way through this circuit exercise. Again, just minus the, top, the upper body where we know I normally doing push-ups or some sort of uh, upper body, uh, shoulders, chest, arm type of work exercise. But it's important sometimes to maybe see if you can get another uh, circuit training in during the week with just the core. Because again, that upper body you're kind of using all the time whether you're walking or you're doing something constructive around the home, building, picking up stuff, uh, moving grocery and so forth. You're doing something upper body wise, but sometimes you know, sitting down takes a little bit off the legs and also makes that core a lot heavier. So it's important sometimes, oftentimes, to try and see if you can sneak in an extra core exercise if you're doing these on a regular basis. You should probably be in pretty decent shape by now. A lot better than me. When you take days off, don't take days off. All right, so we're gonna get down here and we're gonna do the setup into crutch. Um, there's a modified way that we're going to show. I'm going to take some time to kind of go through this. In fact, I'm going to come back here and kind of take some break. You're going to lay on your back. All right, so just lay on the back, feet straight out. Both those hands at 90 degrees, my favorite. There we go, 90 degrees. And she's going to come all the way up and touch her toes. <laughs> and she goes all the way back down. Those feet are still there, and then she's going to come up and do a crutch. Go. There. Simple. Now, the only non-simple part of that is that just that's just one. So that's one, and that's where she's gonna do those. Miss Jess got away. Same way. Same way with the exception of the fact that she doesn't bring her feet down. She keeps them at 60 degrees, she keeps that pressure on that lower ab area that we love so much. Love to hate. Alright, she's gonna go all the way up. Now, as she's going back, her lower back hits, as you see as she goes back, her lower back hits, and those feet come up at the same time. She's kind of teetering. And then she comes up and brings her hands up and hits those feet. If you can just hit your knees up to that, that's awesome. Boom. And she's got two calculated to hers. Rachel's got one calculated to hers. I've got none, but if I add theirs together, then I have three. All right, we're going to ten. <laughs> we're, going, we're going to do ten of these, all right? Since they're new. All right, here we go. One, and I'm going up. Two, three, four, five, six, keep going, seven. Remember those modified birds. 
exertions. Eight. I'll just go up and touch the toes. Nine. Ten. I'm gonna try to be a hero here and go all the way up to my toes. Okay, ten. All right, just finished the core exercises. Now we're going right back into our legs here. Uh, we're gonna go away from those uh, those lunges. We did a few of those, enough, uh, enough of those at least. We're gonna go into what I call the hurdle uh, 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 hurdle exercise. So that I stand to one side of my chair and I extend my leg and follow with the other leg. Extend my other leg over and follow with the other leg. And that's one, right? So when I go over, that's only half. And I come back, that's two. I've got two banks. You guys probably have none. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do about 15 of these. All right, you ready? Here we go. One. And I go a little fast, you can go at your pace. That's two for me. Actually, that's four for me. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Notice I got a little rhythm going. Eight. I keep that rhythm going. Nine. I'm trying not to scare that chair at all. Ten. I can go all day, 11. These are fun, right, guys? No? <laughs> 12. All right. 13, last two. 14. Miss Jess says she's going to do five more. And 15. All right. Last four exercises. We're going to go to our side, right? These are really working those side muscles right to the left and right of that gut there, all right? When I, when I last heard, these are the Jordan's favorite exercises. All right, so I'm gonna start facing you guys on my right side here. My arm is laid down all the way on my side, right? And my feet are stacked on each other. My other hand, I can kind of just put where I want, but I don't want to put it like somewhere near my head. I do not want to put it on the other side of my head and start yanking my head up. Although that felt pretty good, popping my neck. But you don't want to start yanking your neck up to pull up, or yanking your head up to pull up. You just want to have it there again, kind of as a coach, if you will, kind of as an assistant to let you know that you've got to come up. And what I also use it for is as a gauge to see how far my elbow can get toward my knee. So as I'm coming up, I'm swinging my feet kind of inward. I'm not coming up on my side. I know a lot of you think, how am I going to flex my side to bring my legs up? Not the case. I'm going to come up on the right side of my gluteus maximus a little bit, and up, and touch. Now, you can't touch, that's fine. I've been doing these for a while, so I kind of got it down. But you want to bring that upper body up, just like you're bringing those legs up, and touch. Now, the modified version that Miss Rachel's going to go with, she's going to leave those legs down, and she's going to come up, and just reach, and back down, and reach, and touch her knee while they're down, all right? Unless she feels like doing some other ones, we're going to keep her at the bottom side version. Miss Jess is going to go with me. All right, we ready? I got about 20 of these. I love these. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep them feet together. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, crap. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. <laughs> Woo. Okay, if you're cramping, stop. All right, all right, we got one side down. Now the other side. I'm all ready to go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 20 for me. Anyways, those are our core and leg exercises. Make sure that after you get through with these exercises, you're stretching those legs out. There's a few different ways of stretching that you can, you can work with the core and those legs. Make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're drinking a ton of water after these exercises. Because again, 
Not that you're hot, it's hot in your, we're in the place where you're doing your exercises, but it is hot outside and it has a tendency to have an effect on you wherever you are, whether you're in agonized tradition or not. So make sure you seriously hydrate. And if you're feeling any kind of bruising or strains or in muscle areas or whatever else, make sure you ice those first 24 hours. Ice and heat, never heat first, always ice first, okay? God bless you, thank you all for participating in our Motivational Thursday exercises. Ms. Rachel, appreciate you coming in and working with us. And Ms. Jess, appreciate you coming in and working with us. You guys were great. Continue staying fit. God bless you, and we'll see you very soon.